A new report says that Americans want meat raised without antibiotics. Consumer reports say 86% of the people it surveyed want their supermarkets to stock that kind of meat. It says many are willing to pay more for that. There's a whopping 86% of people who said they'd like to see more meat raised without antibiotics. That's according to a study uh, by Consumers Union. The group is concerned that these drugs are contributing to the rise in superbugs, drug-resistant germs that render some antibiotics ineffective against deadly infections. The war over food in America escalating. Pizza members trying to block a plan that would force them to tell you how many calories are in that slice. And uh, I got to tell you, Consumer Reports just did a study on antibiotics in meat and found four major food chains do not sell antibiotic-free chicken, beef, turkey, or pork. 80% of the antibiotics made in this country go into food-producing farm animals. The use of antibiotics in farm animals has been banned in Europe for years. Here it's legal. I want to go straight out to Brendan Brazier. He is an amazing athlete, an ultra marathon winner and Ironman triathlete. His fuel, he only eats plant-based foods. And he's got this great new book out, and it is called Thrive Foods. Brendan, uh, I have used your products, if you come to me here in a second, uh, Vega. You may have seen them in the health food stores. Check it out, Vega, and it's a superfood drink. Brendan, you created this line of Vega products. Why do you say, forget about the meat now, That's let's get rid of that video. I wanna talk to you about fruits and vegetables and why you exclusively eat fruits and vegetables and you run ultra marathons. Right, well, I, I found a while ago that if my diet was made up of just plants, I could perform better. I could recover more quickly, which meant I could train more in less time. So that, of course, meant I would improve. So I've eaten exclusively plants now, as, as you put it, for 22 years. And I found that once you get it right, once you figure out how to do it right, it really is a competitive advantage in, in the athletic world. Well, uh, you look like a teenager. How old are you, by the way? I'm 37. Mm. 37 years old. Okay, so you've been eating just plants, just fruits and vegetables for years, and that's how you came up with Vega. And this is um, an all-in-one nutritional shake that actually uh, Kathy Freston suggested that I try, and it's a green drink. What's in here? Because you could have this in the morning. It's low in calories, uh, extremely low in fat, packed with nutrients. Why is this good for you? Well, it's... Um... It's, it's what I call a high net gain food. So it takes very little energy to digest and assimilate, but it gives you a lot of nutrients back. So there's things in there like hemp protein, pea protein, rice protein. There's flaxseed, there's chia for omega-3 fats. Uh, there's something called savvy seed protein, very high in tryptophan, which is also good. Chlorella, there's a bunch of greens in there. Alkaline forming helps reduce inflammation. There's maca, helps reduce uh, cortisol levels, so you sleep I'm better. I'm feeling stronger already. Thank you, Brendan. Rock on.